an amazing guest. Our next has scored more goals and recorded more points than anyone else in Toronto Maple Leafs history. In one of hockey's toughest markets, he consistently produced, and he is joining us this morning to talk about his new book, Home and Away. Ladies and gentlemen, Hockey Hall of Famer, Olympic gold medalist, and one of the greatest Leafs of all time, Matt Sundin in studio. <laughs> What a reception. Thank you, you very not, much. Not the first time in Toronto you've gotten a pretty good reception. <laughs> no, wow. Well, welcome uh, back. Thank welcome you back. very much. It's great to see Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Captain, my captain. I oh. mean, wow. It is uh, It's truly an honor to meet you. I've watched you play so much. Uh, congratulations on this book. Thanks. Can't wait to get into it. You're a private person, though. Yeah. Uh, I, I know that after watching you through the years. So yeah. why, why did you take to this uh, these pages now? Yes. Well, I, I got asked a few years to do my... Uh, biography and um, I figured last summer if I don't do it now it's never gonna happen well I still remember my parts of my childhood and, and my career playing for the Leafs and uh, I get no respect at home for my kids right now my <laughs> 12 and 10 and the seven year old so okay so that's everybody across the board in, yeah. in three or five years they're gonna pick the book up and say <laughs> Hey, our dad, he was a pretty good hockey player. <laughs> kind of a big so deal. So that's, that's kind of a hope, too. <laughs> um, look, being a Leaf in this city, and you don't need us to tell you this, it, the, the highs are high, and there's a lot of advantages. There's a lot of pressure. Not only were you a first overall pick when you came into this league, but when you became a Leaf, you got traded for Wendell Clark. Yeah. One of the all-time fan favorites. When you heard that was the move, as a young man, what, what was going through your head and how did you think this was going to go? Well, I, I was young, right, at the, at the time when I got traded to Toronto and I didn't realize the impact that Wendell had on, on the city and all the Toronto Maple Leaf fans until I got here and realized I had some big shoes to fill. And, and it also totally different style of players, Wendell with his style, and I'm coming in as a Swedish player, you know, uh, more focusing on producing, scoring goals, and being productive. So the first few years was, was hard to earn the respect from the Leaf fans. But we got there. Oh, we got there. When did it flip? When did you think it flipped? Yeah. Was there a moment? Was there a game? Was there a playoff series? When did it happen? Well, I think we, I think, uh, we got into the playoffs when we moved down to the Air Canada Center at the time, Scotiabank Arena. But also before that. But I, I think... It was like people wanted to see what, what did we trade <laughs> our captain for here. So I needed a few years to earn the respect. Then I think just over time playing, and I, I felt like I had to really become a better player too. So I think I became more of a two-way player joining the Leafs and played more at center. In Quebec, I, we, I would be both on the wing and at center. So time, I think, more than anything. For sure. And in the book, you, you really go into that pivotal moment of becoming the captain of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yeah. Speak to that, that moment a little bit more, because it was a great spot in the book. Yeah, and, and you know, Boris Salming was, was a great mentor for me. You know, all the years he spent with the Leafs. Uh, he was the first guy I called, you know, the Leafs had asked me to be the captain for the team. What do you think? And he right away said, Mats, you have to accept. It's the biggest honor you can have in, in hockey hockey capital of the world and to wear the C and he also re regretted he didn't accept it himself because he, he got asked to, to be the captain so that made my decision easy and, and I have a lot to thank Borja for that. You were captain of this franchise for 11 seasons. Uh, the Leafs have a new captain. Yeah. He, is, he is a month in in yeah. Austin Matthews. <laughs> um, not that he needs advice. He's a pretty grounded, talented young man but like you were here for a long time doing yeah. the same gig. What advice would you give to him? Yeah, I, I think the most important thing with, with all the commotion, it's still just a letter on your, on your sweater, right? And he's proven that he's one of the absolute best players in the world. And he's also a natural leader. He's a really nice guy. The guys on the team are gonna follow him. They're already doing that. So don't change anything. Just keep doing what you're doing. And he's gonna do great. And if we... Uh talk about Leafs Nation uh, you know it's a universe you say <laughs> uh, what did that what did that mean to you what role does that continue to play uh, in your life well I'm still amazed about Leafs Nation you know Amy Stewart my co-writer she's big-time part of uh, Leaf Nation 
I'm but, big time part of Leaf Nation. <laughs> yeah. well, but um, it's tough to explain to people, especially maybe if you haven't been there and, and lived it. But it, it, I try to explain it to people in Europe where soccer is big, right? So it's like Real Madrid or Barcelona or New York Yankees. You know, Toronto Maple Leafs is an institution and the fans are, it's, it's a nation of its own. Um, Mats, it's a thrill. Thank you for coming by. Yeah. I know uh, you're not often back. Sweden is home and you love Sweden, but it is yep. so good to see you again. And thank you for coming by. Home and Away is the book where all fine books are sold. One more time, former Leaf captain Matt Sundin <laughs> in school. Thanks for Appreciate having me, guys. And kids, your Thank dad's you. really cool. Yes. <laughs> Message really to Matt's cool. kids. Okay? Big deal. Big deal. <laughs> Big deal. Huge. In many cities Huge. in Canada. <laughs>